Hello, my name is Ken Coates. I'm the Dean of Arts at the University of Waterloo. I hope to be there in person with you in Bangkok, and I'm sorry you have to sort of rely on this new technology uh, video, video introduction. But I wanted to make sure that uh, everybody at, at the Power of Peace Network meeting knew how enthusiastic we were here at the university about the initiative that is now underway. Um, some time back, David Nosbagan and Abdul Khan from the United Nations uh, visited the University of Waterloo. They were introducing the concept of the Power of Peace Network, which you're going to hear about in quite considerable detail. Basically, the idea is to find ways to use new technology to link up young people around the world and to help them make a difference in bringing peace and justice to every part of this wonderful planet of ours. They came to Waterloo because they wanted to see if the University of Waterloo and Waterloo Region was open to the idea of participating in the Power of Peace Network. This is an interesting place, Waterloo. We're quite famous for Research in Motion, which produces the BlackBerry phone for OpenText, Canada's largest software company. And we're generally seen as being Canada's innovation center, particularly in high technology and digital media. So it seemed when they came here, that when David and Abdul showed up, that this was a great place to see if Waterloo was interested. Well, I can tell you that we were interested from the very, very beginning. We see a chance here to do something quite unique. The University of Waterloo has one of the world's best computer science departments, a world-class engineering faculty. Um, the Faculty of Arts is committed to digital media. In fact, we're creating a brand new campus devoted to digital media and the study of digital media. So we see an opportunity to partner with uh, Power of Peace Network, the United Nations, and a whole bunch of other people we hope around the world in doing something really neat. We want to bring media together with technology, with the creative arts, and we want to see if we can actually find a mechanism that will empower young people. We got started by actually bringing together representatives from a dozen universities across Canada. They came here to basically test out the concept. We brought, we brought in students. We weren't so much interested in hearing about what university faculty and administrators thought. We wanted to see if this idea was something that resonated with young people. Well, I can tell you it, it really struck home. The young people were incredibly enthusiastic about the idea of partnering with a global initiative that would allow them to share their stories with young people in every corner of the world. It would also allow them to hear back what other people were experiencing in Africa, in Asia, in Southeast Asia, in Europe, and around the planet. As we talked about this at the University of Waterloo, a number of different possibilities came forward. One of them is going to be presented to you shortly by Lowell Ewart of Comrade Grable College, which is a part of an affiliated college with the University of Waterloo. What we really want to do is to create a, a course wiki. We want to actually turn over control of the intellectual property, essentially, uh, of our Peace and Conflict Studies courses, make them available to people around the world, not simply to do a sort of a, a brain transfer from University of Waterloo to the rest of the people, but actually to create a space where everybody else can contribute back. We want students, we want faculty members, we want peace activists in every part of the world to actually be submitting things into this course to make it the richest course and the richest series of courses on Peace and Conflict Studies that exist absolutely anywhere. We've also started conversations with a couple of very exciting young companies, they're just getting going, who are interested in partnering with the Power of Peace Network. Uh, we'll hear more about those from David, I think, as time goes along. Essentially, we think we have a technology that will allow the Power of Peace Network to reach everybody, everywhere who has access to the internet. We think we found a mechanism that will reach out to people who communicate by cell phone, who are using uh, digital cameras, who are working on desktops, who are trying to find ways to share their stories with people around the world. We want to make this sustainable. We want to make this real. We want to make it as academically rich as we possibly can. Right now, we're working here in Waterloo to draw together private and public sector supporters. We can draw together people who are working in the, in the corporate world, who are interested in high technology and software design. We're drawing together people in the peace sector here in southern Ontario. So far, the response has been extremely, extremely enthusiastic. I'd hope to be in Bangkok to deliver this message to you directly. Uh, my colleagues uh, Lowell Ewart uh, will be there to talk about the online course development. Uh, David Nosbakken, of course you know, is a huge proponent of Power and Peace Network and we'll talk to you about the, the, the digital foundation, the digital technology uh, we're thinking of using. 
I want to end simply by thanking you for your attention. I want to make sure you know that the Faculty of Arts at the University of Waterloo is extremely enthusiastic about this idea. And I want to also offer my congratulations to Abdul Khan, Assistant Director General for Information and Communications at UNESCO, uh, who actually stimulated the discussion of the Power of Peace Network, David Nasbach, and who's worked so hard to bring it off. I'm really convinced that we're on the cusp of something truly transformative, that we can actually take the digital media world and use it as an agency for peace, for justice, and for cultural understanding that will actually help young people reach out to each, other's, uh, uh, to each other all across Canada. I wish you well in your deliberations. I truly wish I was there, but please know this initiative has my full support. Thank you very much.